Good morning. It's Chris with City Girl Homestead. So I got a special request to make um, homemade taco seasoning. Now I'm going to four times this. So I will tell you what it says and then I will tell you what I'm adding to, to make it four times. So because what I'm going to do is make enough for um, everybody for Christmas. So all right. So the first thing is six tablespoons of, here, let me pull you down here. All right, six tablespoons of chili powder. So it was a cup and a quarter of chili powder. Um, now, the first ones are obviously going to be, and I'll have the recipe down below, four teaspoons of ground cumin. So I need four tablespoons of cumin. Figured since I got the request, I just make enough for the kids' this Christmas, too. Three and four. And it says three teaspoons of paprika, so I need a tablespoon and a teaspoon of it. So there's my tablespoon. And my teaspoon. I'm going to tell you, once you guys make your own, you'll never want to buy it from the store again because it's so much tastier. Then you need two teaspoons of garlic powder. So I need two tablespoons and two teaspoons. And two. And one. And two. Tom said it only take him 15 minutes to finish up this job today. So I went out and did other things. And then just as I get ready to start, he calls me and goes, I'm done. I'm like, great. And then we need onion powder, calls for two teaspoons. So we're gonna do two tablespoons and two teaspoons. And I have two more videos I wanna make before dinner. So we'll put him to work doing what he's supposed to be doing. <laughs> we're trying to get my back room organized. And we got a couple more cupboards we wanna get organized, so. He'll have work to do. We'll even put Jack to work. How's that? And we need one teaspoon of black pepper, so that would be one tablespoon and two teaspoons. So there's one, and then we need the two. And like I said, I will put the recipe below because I can't stand when I can't, I can't type it fast enough or whatever, you know what I mean? <laughs> and then we need half a teaspoon, it says an eighth of a teaspoon, so we would need a half a teaspoon of cayenne. I'm going to put just a tad bit more in there. Not very much, though. There we go. And then you see my little love container. It's almost empty. All right, so then we're going to whisk this all together. I mean, you don't have to whisk it. You can stir it, do whatever you want. Your kitchen, your rules, you do what you do. See, I did this kind of stuff last year for my kids, and... You know, how many times have you been really close to where you're making tacos, but, oh, shoot, you forgot to buy the packet, whatever. This way, you know, the kids want to throw together some cookies or, you know, make tacos or something like that. I made hamburgers, spice for them as well. So, they'll already have it at home. Let me give this a smell here, too. 
Ooh la la, mama. <laughs> it smells better than the store, and I guarantee you it tastes better than the store's does. All right, so now I'm going to put them in these little jelly jars. <laughs> Got my little funnel here. I might have to end up making a little more. Who knows? And so then I'm going to take it and I'm going to label on the top that it's taco seasoning. And it'll take, um, takes two tablespoons to be what you get in the packets at the store. See how cheap and easy that was? All right. So let me know how it works out for you guys. And I, like I said, I will print the recipe below. So there you go. Special request done. <laughs> we're going to do a special request dinner tonight too. And by the way, we're going to do a live with Tom tomorrow at five. So if you want to watch, come on over. All right, have a blessed day, and I'll be back with a couple more videos.